amigos. It's time for Carrie Tells, and I'm excited that you're here. Guess what? We're going to read Skippy John Jones Up in Spice today. Here it is. Ah, and we're going to do colors in Spanish and numbers in Spanish, and we're going to do a patterning activity and lots of other things. I can't wait to show you. Are you ready to go? Let's get started. Thumbs up. Let's look at me, look at me, I'm a Carrie Tusk kid. Look at me, can't you see, I'm a Carrie Tusk kid. And everywhere I go, I want the world to know, I'm a Carrie Tusk kid. I like my colors, I like my numbers, I like to sing my ABCs. I like my letters, I like my teachers. But most of all, I like me. Look at me, look at me, I'm a Carrie Tuskin. Look at me, can't you see, I'm a Carrie Tuskin. And everywhere I go, I want the world to know I'm a Carrie Tuskin. I'm a Carrie Tuskin. It's Cinco de Mayo today. It's Cinco de Mayo today. Let's clap our hands and shout ole. It's Cinco de Mayo today. It's Cinco de Mayo today. It's Cinco de Mayo today. Let's stomp our feet and shout ole. It's Cinco de Mayo today. Skippy John Jones, Lost in Spice. Skippy John Jones was nuts about Mars because it was the red planet. I love red, that's what I said, and I musty put some rusty in my big boy bed. So off he went to the kitchen where mom and the girls were starting supper. We're making tuna poodle casserole, crooned his sister Jilly Boo Jones. Tuna noodle casserole, corrected Mama. A poodle is a dog, and we don't eat dogs. Skippy John thinks he's a dog, said Jezebel. Yeah, agreed Jujube. He thinks he's a chihuahua. Because his ears are too big for his head, added Jezebel. That's enough, scolded Mama. Pinkie Pie's ears are just fine. May I please borrow your bottles of red spice, Mama? He asked politely. Yes, you may, replied Mama, pleased with her boy's manners. But you better not be thinking of doing any sprinkling. Nuh-uh, said Skippy blinking. Or tasting, pasting, or wasting. If you know what's good for you, she added. Well, Skippy John Jones always knew what was good for him. And that was bouncing and pouncing and rocketing in the rusty red dust. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I'm in a big race to be the first dog to bounce into space. Then a bit of the spice tickled his nose and ah, ka, chewy, the kitty boy sneezed. Holy hot tamales, exclaimed Skippy John Jones as he shot past his reflection. What's up with that doggy in the mirror? Then using his very best Spanish accent, he said, You're not a Siamese cat, dude. You are a wicked red chihuahua. And quicker than you can say jumping jacks on Jupiter, the kitty boy found his mask and cape, a mirror and a marble, and his sock monkey. He stuffed these and a few other things into his spacesuit while he sang in a muy muy soft voice. My name is Skipito Fresquito, and I think there are Martian Peritos. Some say the green creatures share all of my features. I hope it's not just Fepalitos. But in the kitchen, the girls were being a big help to Mama Junebug Jones. I love noodles, declared Jilly Boo. Noodles are silly, said Jezebel. That's because they're nude, said Jujube. They're not nude, said Jilly Boo, giggling. They're naked, and she tossed one up to the ceiling where it stuck. But Skippy John Jones wasn't stuck at all. He was suited up and ready for liftoff. 
The astronaut Ito took one small step into his closet for chihuahuas and one giant leap into the universe for Los Chimichangos. He was well into his orbit when a comet covered in crazies cruised by. Who goes there? hollered Skipito. Martian came the answer. Martian who? Martian to your closet and get us some frijoles, dude, said the voice. Poquito Tito, exclaimed Skipito. Is that you, amigo? Si, sí, it is all of us, los chimichangos, said Poquito Tito, the smallest of the small ones. We are going to build a chili polvo pipeline from Mars to Earth, Papito. Not the chili powder pipeline, declared Skipito. Exactamente, howled the doggies. Por qué? asked Skipito. Because, amigo, began Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. The chili powder on Mars is muy caliente, and it will keep us very warm in el invierno. Then off they zoomed. The cuckoo comet and the kitty boy made it to Mars with a soft landing. Oh, sighed Don Diego, that felt marvelous. Then he turned to glance at Scapito. No offense, Poco Coco, but why the suit de la nieve? asked Don Diego. Dude, you don't need a space suit up here, said Poquito Tito. You need a spice suit. Mars is covered in the chili powder, chico. This made the perros go loco in the rojo singing. Chili ru, chili re, chili rito. It's a wag of the tail for Scapito. And for, for there's nothing as nice as a rolling hot spice in the light of the Martian moon mythos. But a roll in the rojo should have been a no-no because quicker than you can say, monkeys making meatballs, Scapito rolled and rolled and rolled in the opposite direction from his pipeline Puchitos. <gasps> Woo! said Scapito, panting. You boys are right. The spicito is hot. The astronautito was so calor under the collar that he just had to take off his spacesuit. Muchachos, he called out, but there was no answer. Uh-oh, Scapito said to himself, I'm lost in spice. But the astronautito did not panic. He grabbed his binoculars and climbed up into, onto a roca. And that's when he saw it. Holy green gorillas, gulped Scapito. It's a Martianito. The Puchito pounced just a whisker away from the un unearthly creature. Dude, dude, your ears are too big for your head. Well, your ears are too big for your head. Your head is too big for your body. Your head is too big for your body. You are not a Martian. You are not a Martian. No, I know I'm not a Martian dude, said Scapito. I'm a Chihuahua just like you. To prove his point, Scapito ran back to his spacesuit and pulled out the little rojo mirror he had packed. Look, said Scapito, holding it up so both their faces showed. We are twins. The Martian was so mesmerized that he could not take his uno ojo off himself. Skipito was so excited that he could not stop hopping and flapping his arms. And then all of a sudden he remembered that he was lost. Hey, come on, uno ojos, called the kitty boy. We've got to find mis amigos. But uno ojo said nada. He simply sat and stared at his image in the mirror. Okie dokie do, said Scapito. I'll go, but you have to keep your eye on my stuff, especially my sock monkey. Then he took off faster than a tiddly wink in a tornado. He didn't have far to go. In less time than it takes to tickle a termite, Scapito found his cucuritos cooped up inside a crater. Dudes, shouted Scapito. Dude, Don Diego whispered. You're just in tiempo. In time for what? Skipito asked. Hombres de la Marte, said Poquito Tito with the shiverito. Not the men from Mars, declared Skipito. 
The mere mention of Martians made the muchachos go mad. Knock, knock. Who goes there? Verde Martians everywhere, slurping sloppy ice cream cones, speeding in the spicy zones. Mossy Martians on the move, what do they think they have to prove? We did not come here for a fight. We want to build. We will not bite. Then Skipito felt the fur stand up on the back of his neck. Because the critter's crater was about to have single crazy creatures for company, Holy hoopleheads, hollered Skipito. Here they come. Before Skipito could think what to do, the Verde visitor piled out of their space buggy, bearing all of Skipito's stuff. Two were green and mossy, while the third was green and bossy. The fourth was green and funky, and the fifth was green and monkey, yelled Skipito. That's my sock monkey. Ditto, declared Skipito's one-eyed Martian twin emerging from the green group before him. Without saying another palabra, Skipito picked up his monkey paw and pulled. First Skipito yanked it this way, then uno ojo yanked it that way. It's Tago Monkito, cheered the chimichangos. On the count of three, the papitos planned to pull Tangien. But as the doggy shouted, Oh no! The Martians hollered, Oh ho! And uh oh! Uno ojo let a go go, sending the kitty boy flying. Skipito and his sock monkey hurtled head first back to earth and out through his closet door. Kaboom! He hollered, breaking the sound barrier and maybe his head. Skippy John Jones, exclaimed Mama, rushing into his room. What on earth are you doing? The kitty boy stood up and shook off a cloud of red spice. I didn't do anything on earth, Mama, replied Skippy John. I did everything on Mars. Oh, that's terrific, Major Tom, said Mama. Then she straightened the kitty boy's ears. You must be starving. Later that night, the kitty boy looked up at the starry sky. Oh, Mars, he muttered, beginning to bounce. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I like red pajamas, because they're made from the wool of green Martian lammies. <laughs> Stop bouncing, Pinkie Pie, scolded Mama. I'm not pink, I'm red, said Skippy. It's over, Red Rover, said Mama. Just go to sleep. And that's exactly what he did. I'd like to teach you a new song. It's really easy. It has Spanish in it. So I want you to learn these words and I want you to say them after me. Ready? Try this. Try buenos dias. Buenos dias. Can you say that? Say it with me. Buenos dias. That means good morning. Buenos dias. Good morning. Now try Como estás? Como estás? Say that with me. Como estás? That means, how are you? Muy bien. Gracias. Say muy bien. Gracias. That means very good. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Muy bien. Gracias. Did you say it? Now say, y usted, y usted. That means, and you, and you. Say, y usted. Sing it with me. Sing, buenos dias, buenos dias. Como estas, como estas. Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. You're going to be good at Spanish. I'm so proud of you. Now let's try good afternoon. It sounds different, but the rest of the song is the same. It sounds like this. Buenos tardes. Tardes. Okay, that's good afternoon. Buenos Tardes. Can you say that? Tardes. Try. 
Buenos tardes, buenos tardes. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? ¿Y usted? P is for piñata. Can you say piñata? Oh, I love piñatas. P, 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 p. Guess what time it is? It's piñata time. Let's see what happens with our piñata. This is a personal size piñata. Everybody count to five. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> <laughs> yeah! 
Let's count in Spanish together. All the way to ten. Let's do it first in English. Say one. One dinosaur. Uno. Two butterflies. Dos. Three red balloons. Tres. Four hot dogs. Cuatro. Five baseballs. Cinco. Six turtles. Siete. Seven chicks. Siete. Eight socks. Ocho. Nine candies. Nueve. Ten flowers. Diez. Let's let's count again in Spanish. You got it this time. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Oh, you're so good. Cinco de Mayo patterning. Do you remember patterning? Red, yellow, red, yellow, red. What comes next? Which chili pepper comes next? Red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow. Good. Let's put the yellow pepper on the paper. There it is. Red pepper, yellow pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper. <laughs> Good. Now, lime, pepper, lime, pepper, lime. What comes next? Hmm. Pepper, maracas, sombrero, sombrero, maracas. Hmm. Pepper. Good. Lime, pepper, lime, pepper, lime, pepper. We got it. Yeah. Sombrero, maracas, sombrero, maracas. What comes next? Hmm, skinny sombrero? Yeah. That one. It looks the same as the other sombreros. Sombreros means hat. What's next? Maracas? Now there's two kinds. There's the yellow and red and green. Or there's the blue, orange, and red and yellow. Blue, orange, red, and yellow. Yes, that one goes. Sombrero, maracas, sombrero, maracas, sombrero, maracas. We got it. Maraca sombrero, maraca sombrero, what comes next? Hmm, maracas, yeah. Great. What comes next? Sombrero, maracas, sombrero. Yep, it's the last one there. Good thinking. That's it. Put it down. All right. You did it. Muy bien. Colors in Spanish. Let's do it together. Red, you say rojo. Rojo. Can you say rojo? Yellow is amarillo. Amarillo. Can you say amarillo? The next one is blue. You say azul. Can you say azul? The next one is orange. Anaranja. Anaranja. The next one is green. Verde. Verde. The next one is purple. Morado. Morado. The next one is brown. Café. Café. Next is pink, rosado, rosado. The next one is black, negro, negro. The next one is white, blanco, blanco. And the last one is gray, 
Gris. Gris. Now let's say them from the top again. Say rojo. Say amarillo. Say azul. Say anaranja. Say verde. Say morado. Say café. Say rosado. Say negro. Say blanco. Say gris. Muy bien. Adios, mi amigos. Adios. Adios, mi amigos. Adios. Adios, mi amigos. Hasta luego. Adios, amigos. Adios. Thanks for watching. I'm so glad you were here. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Let's do it again. Remember to like and subscribe and share. Find me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll be happy to talk to you. See you then.